was a short time now it's time to have a very interesting conversation and joining us in the studio is Amana Biabwache Dankwa she's the creative director for business and more limited what are we talking about today we are going to be talking about easy tips to polishing old wood pieces and I'm very excited about this conversation because we all need it the women, the ladies, our kitchen items, our tools, our wood pieces, our decorative pieces in the house. How do you keep them? We are going to have that conversation. So do can stay. Amma, good morning and welcome. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How about you? I'm fine. I'm right. fine. Uh, today, what are we doing? We've seen some wood. I can see a chopping board there. Yes. And there's, there's an apple box over there. Yes. One may be wondering, what is wood polishing? Okay, so um, let me dial back a bit. Most of our um, things that are in the home, from doors to wooden cutlery to what we cook with, they are all made out of wood. Mm. And wood is, wood is like women. We, we need to be pampered a bit. When you, um, it goes through a lot of processing before it turns out into that particular product or artifacts that we use in the house. Right. So from that natural state to what it has become um, you, you have to take care of it you have to preserve it and also we happen to find ourselves in the tropics so mm. today's weather for instance is raining so when it rains the wood would shrink mm. it also gets cold then when the sun um, is up it expands Expand. so that movement and we, we don't see that movement so that movement of shrinking expanding and um, warping has uh, an effect on the wood. So we have to sort of polish it. And also the soaps and detergents that we use in our homes to clean surfaces yeah. and clean our, um, our artifacts. We don't know, most of the time we don't know. The chemicals? Exactly. Yeah. So they affect it sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. So sometimes you see that Yes, you, you bought a table, mm -hmm. it's all polished, there's varnish on it. Yeah. Then before you realize, it's some time. It's fading out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it becomes bland. Exactly. And dull. Exactly. Right. Yes. So are you going to call the person who has produced the cleaning agent that, so, no, yeah. you have to preserve it. So that is why um, this like wood polish has been developed. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about it is that now they are versions that we can use at home mm -hmm. without sorry, calling an artisan yeah. or somebody. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's the whole idea behind wood polish. Right. So this Beautiful. actually helps us keep it longer instead of just yes. turning it away because most times people tend yes. to just straight away. When it builds molds and all exactly. of that, it turns, especially the ladles, when we use them to cook for a while mm -hmm. and we see that it's wearing out or it's becoming old, you throw it away and get a new one. And I don't even know why we do that. Well, maybe information. But the thing is, wood is actually one of the longest sustaining raw materials yeah, yeah. you know yes it go it, it, like mold and all of that happens but once you polish it the shelf life comes mm -hmm. back right. uh -huh. so wood actually ages better yeah. or than looks any other thing exactly. yeah. so, so would you say that's why people because of the whole sustainability would you mm. say that's why people are moving away from you know glass cutleries yeah. to wood cutlery right now exactly and that's the theme across board mm -hmm. across all industry sustainability mm -hmm. organic right. you know and that's why people are moving because wood you know i was watching something the other time where the people um, not in ghana though but when they were tired of their wooden doors and yeah. everything they just dug like an incinerator mm -hmm. and just put all the wood back into the air mm. for it oh, to okay, just... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it, it uh -huh. should just mix. Yeah. Exactly. So at the end of it, there's no pollution. Yes. yes. Can you do that with plastic? No, you no, can't. Not at it, all. Will stick. It, it will stick. It will come out. <laughs> it will stick no, out. No matter how many years. years. Exactly. After it comes, it will stick out again. Hello, I'm here. I'm e not dead. E exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, so... They are, you can recycle wood, you can just chop it down to pieces mm -hmm. if you are tired and just put it back in the earth and it just turns into compost and all of that. So wow. wood is one of those things that it's not heavy on the environment. Right. Yes, that's okay, so let's get into it. Okay, okay we have this chopping board, right? Yes. And yeah, we can see that it's been really chopped up. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So what can, have, what can you do to bring this back to life? Okay, so we're going to polish it now. Let me talk about this a bit. Now, the reason why it's like this mm -hmm. is obviously because we have been using mm -hmm, it and right. then also because of the cleaning agents, you know. So mm -hmm. 
now it's dry. Now mm -hmm. it looks awful. Mm -hmm. One of the best ways, or one of the natural ways to do this is just to polish it. Right. Yes. So I have wood polish here yeah. that takes um, two minutes mm -hmm. to bring it back to... Right. Yeah. So where did you get the wood polish? So I made it myself. How did you make it? <laughs> what is it made with? So it's made oh, what is it made from? Sorry. Yeah, so it's made out of beeswax mm -hmm. and olive oil, right. an essential oil. Next time, what you people should do is to set up a whole makeshift mm -hmm. and, yeah. Me sure will. Production so that I come and I show you. You actually show us how you, how you make it. Exactly, because right. it's very easy. So it's a DIY, it, it can be a DIY. Perfect DIY project. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. And it's very easy wow. to make. Actually, so I made the beeswax. Do you have bees around you? Um, I have to source them from farmers and oh. for me in particular it's intentional for me because I want to source from female beekeepers and okay. we have the percentage of female beekeepers in this country is very high. And that is not really talked about too. No. Wow. We don't do that. So it's something you We know about females in share butter products mm -hmm. but this I've never heard. Yes. yes, this is something new. Yes, this I've never heard. Yes. So actually, source... female beekeepers. Yes, I think we need to look into it. You and, should you know. because they produce honey. Yeah, and the off product of the beeswax lipstick. Yes, yes. and yeah, and the lip gloss, gloss and all that and all of that. And there's one particular lady that I source from. She actually, apart from the honey, she also makes makes lipstick and lip balm, and she's mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about. Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you're watching this and you want to be part of the conversation, all you need to do is send your messages via the number on your screen, and it's via WhatsApp. And also, do not forget to use the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Breakfast Daily. That's if you're logged on on Facebook or X, formerly Twitter. And we will also get to read your um, messages right here on the show. Okay. And before we mm. polish, one tip about wood is wood also likes clean fabric. Oh, we tend to think that because we are clean, because it's wood, wood. wood, you can use anything. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. The, the, I've never really thought of that. Yes, yes. Uh, it, just, it just shocked me. Yeah, <laughs> we just get any rag to yes. clean it. No, and, and it's usually called rag. Yes, <laughs> rag. bring that rag for me. <laughs> so I, I normally advise my clients and friends that your old t-shirt, which is cotton. Mm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Your old t-shirt, which is cotton, just cut it up or I don't know, something, preferably cotton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, just cut it up. Don't use silk mm -hmm. or linen. Mm -hmm. It won't work. It won't work. Mm -hmm. So cotton, and just cut it up. Right now I have like a clean mm -hmm. napkin, which is cotton. Mm -hmm. And so, can the camera see yes. this? Yes. All right. Okay. So, all right. So you just take like a dab of it. Okay. Oh, sorry. And it melts e easily. Yes. Yeah. So you have to apply a little pressure. pressure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just a little, not all the energy that you have in yeah. here. <laughs> Just a little. Okay. And the good thing about it is that, or this variation of wood polish is that, you don't see the residue. Mm -hmm. you go it soaks right back into, into the wood. Yes. Yeah. If you can see this. It's coming alive already. Yeah. How often can you do this to your wood um, Once a pieces? month. Once a month? Yes, once a month. Why so? Once a month, because you are still, after it's um, dry and everything, you're still going to, you're still going to use it, use mm -hmm. it, you know, unless you are really sure of the, the cleaning agents and you really don't have control. If you're a working mom um, or you're a working lady, corporate lady, you're out of the house. You don't, if you have people who are helping you at home, you don't know how they are cleaning yeah. or all of that. That's, uh -huh. that's a lot of problems that we do with. Exactly. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, this is just you every month. You just bring your wooden cutlery and everything out. And you see the transformation already? Yes. So, how um, healthy is this when it comes to our health? Because obviously it's bee wax and mm. it's going right into this, which we're still going to be cutting our tomatoes and onions on. Okay, so beeswax is actually... A off products of bees. Okay. Yes. And 
We're taking honey. We take honey from bees. So yes. Yes. And actually... And olive oil. Exactly. And actually, um, FDA has approved um, the combination of beeswax mm -hmm. and olive oil for wood polish. Because mm -hmm. oh. for this sample, I sent to FDA, FDA. so mm -hmm. there's a batch number mm -hmm. attached to it, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why did you have to send it to the FDA? Um, you have to send because... Because is it food? No, it's not food. But when it comes to... Um, so for this, for instance, you're going to use food on it. You're going to mm. cut yeah. your onions and your right. tomato, your cheese board and all yeah. of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're going to use a charcuterie exact board and exactly. all that. Exactly, exactly. So, and you would sell, this, will, this is sold as well. So they have to make sure that, first of all, when it gets into contact with food, food yeah. there's yes, no... safe. Exactly. Uh -huh. All right, so let's just do the before and after. This is the before. Okay. This is the before. And, and this is an after. after. Yeah. Ooh, this is yeah. nice. Amma, let me ask you, after doing this, mm -hmm. how do I maintain it? Even though I'm still going to use it, mm -hmm. how do I maintain it to keep it alive for a while? Okay, so what wood doesn't like is wet moldy areas uh, okay the mold it comes out of it being wet mm. so once you you um you begin to use it when it's dry don't pack it dry mm. that's what we do we, we we want to clear our kitchens mm -hmm. and make our kitchens nice. so we just wash them we just yeah. toss in drawers mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we go no that um dark cupboard um or cabinet yeah it he, creates yes a bit of humidity exactly mm -hmm. and even the smell and all which is yes mm, the smell exactly the smell the so smell. make sure that your wooden cutlery or wooden products are dry right. even air dry air dry even tables now it's raining so you have a wooden table mm -hmm. outside if you can protect it cover it okay or move it out of the, of rain. the rain of the rain okay and when the sun comes up Put you it, take back, it back yeah. so that it, it dry, dries up. Yes, mm. you know. But if you leave it, that oh, it's wood. We know that wood can sit in water or sit in rain. But before you realize, the green mold and everything is forming. Up. Is forming. Right. Okay. So, what are some of the common mistakes apart from this ones that you just named that people actually um, do when it comes to their woodwares? Um, mostly, well, the most common one is the the water one and not um, allowing it to dry. Then also. For boards and stuff like this, people don't even, how do you call it, like a cheese board, like for mm -hmm, instance, mm -hmm. you just have the cheese board and you just leave it, uh, how do you call it, without cleaning it, not cleaning it, probably just leave it mm. there. Hanging, yeah. Exactly. After food and everything, you have used it for whatever particular occasion, make sure the food is taking off and like don't leave it 24 hours because Ooh, all the juice the juice goes into the, the blood wood. of the meat yeah. the wine the goes everything into, yeah exactly it's all going it's all going in and we kind of i don't want to, i don't want to use the word a bit lazy because you're like oh it's a function other people will come, come it's but, the word yeah. it's lazy <laughs> <laughs> let's let's say the right word but other, after you know your numbers are in, don't leave it overnight because you feel that, oh, I'm going to use it mm -hmm. the following day, maybe a quick branch. No, you clear the entire board. Right. Yes, and clean it. And so does that mean like some of those um, residues can actually make us sick? Yes. Yes, it does. Amma, I wanted to find out, you mm -hmm. have this particular kind of polish mm -hmm. that you just use to clean the chopping board. Can mm -hmm. I use the same polish for every kind of wood or there's a specific polish for a specific kind of wood piece? Okay, so you cannot use this for, for instance, doors. Oh. Yes. Um, doors are a bit, um, in the production, there are certain things that are used to seal doors so you uh, i don't want to be a bit technical but there's mm -hmm. something called sunny sealer there's because it goes through processing mm. machine work so the sunny sealer is sprayed on it and all of that and doors um for instance there's something called lacquer mm. yeah, lacquer. yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh. so for the wood polish there's a bit of that right. or a variation of that mixed with that right. uh -huh. so for floors and doors 
those who want, there's a different variation of wood polish mm. for that. Yes. And do you sell these ones or yes. you make all of I the make, different I variants? Make, I make both. Oh, beautiful. Yes. I have to for people. Oh. <laughs> beautiful ladies like you. Right, right. <laughs> I think, I, I think this has been a very, very interesting mm. conversation. Mm. But um, how can people reach out to you if they want to reach out to you? Okay, so my socials. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Nabia Bassinet and more. LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, um, Instagram. Right. Yes. Okay. Then do I have to add a number? Yeah, if you want to. I'll have to give you a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> number is 024 Right. Mm. Lovely, lovely. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it. Um, you can actually revive your wood wares at home or your wood pieces by just using a bit of bee wax and olive oil. And if you can't get it from her, one day I'm sure she's going to come back and yeah. teach us how to do it because she just yeah. told us that there's a DIY. Okay. So one day we're <laughs> definitely going to show you how to create this in your own homes. But in the meantime, you can actually reach out to her um, on social media, Bassinets and more. And her name is Amanabi Abwachi Dankwa. Thank you so much.